Hey, buddies, Peterbic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Abraham Lincoln. What a strange sentence to say. I never thought I would say that I would be playing the game of Civ VI as Abe Lincoln. Um, and we're just getting ready to do a push on Arabia. They've kind of had a bit of a rough start to the game. They did conquer a couple of city-states, um, originally Candy and Brussels, but then Congo took them off them. Right, we have a workshop up in Boston. Let's get our aqueduct to get the extra production from that. The housing too will allow us to scale vertically quite well. And just like overnight, our military has skyrocketed. There's even like religious battles happening. So I'm going to lie about the fact that um, I'm not going to declare war on him. I'm more than happy to lie about that. I think my units inside my own borders don't really count for um, him checking whether or not my units are on his border. Right, we could do a little bit of farming around here. May as well chop for food to get to that 10 pop to get another district up. Let's make sure that we build that quarry. Don't delete that quarry. We want our, we want our quarries. Right, so we'll have bombards next turn. The thing I am lacking is niter. So I wonder if I could maybe purchase oh, a ton of luxuries for sale. I'll buy all those, 100%. Um, anyone have spare niter? No spare niter on the map. Let's just do a quick search. No spare niter around. So I am going to have to slowly wait for the passive amount of niter that I'm making right now. Nothing I can do to speed that up, sadly. We'll just have to live with it. There's a 10 pop city. We just chopped out St. Louis. Feeling good about that. Our tiles here are pretty poor in terms of production and basically every yield, honestly. Um, so we kind of need this workshop and industrial zone. Where are you even getting production from? Mostly the industrial zone. Well, thankfully, we do have guild. So I'm tempted to plug in the craftsman card. I, maybe I'll wait. What am I waiting for? No, I think I'll plug it in as soon as I can. How much would it cost me to change my government? 295 gold feels like a lot. I'd rather wait. Honestly, actually, um, production is about four times as valuable as gold, right? Let me just let me just do that calculation in my head. Double check that calculation in my head. A settler cost, sorry, a builder cost, spearman. 65 production times five is about 260. So that's about right. So that means if I were to unlock this for 300 gold to get 31 production per turn, that would be be 80 gold per turn. This would pay itself off incredibly quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'll take out urban planning, move natural philosophies to the top, plug in craftsmen. Do I want to keep conscription? Or do I want to drop? I think conscription is important. My gold income is very, very important. I'd like to keep urban planning. I might take out Machiavellianism. It doesn't sound like much, but eight production is just actually so much production when you consider it across an entire empire. But yeah, my stats just jumped up in a very, very significant and a very, very important way. So we have bombards. We have line infantry. Let's go ahead and head for industrialization so we can start building factories and getting our coal power plants and just get our absurd, absurd production. Keep in mind, we haven't even reached our final form when it comes to all these industrial zones. He's got Renaissance walls up. I really need two bombards. I kind of regret upgrading one of my guys. There's line infantry. I regret upgrading one of my man-at-arms. I really needed that nighter. I think, though, we could declare the formal war now and start attacking. Arabia is a deeply unpopular character in the sense that uh, everyone in the game currently has like a bone to pick with him. Can yoink a builder? Can I, and, and the good news is I'll also be able to do like massive pillaging because these these line infantry are pretty damn strong. Now I can't really break his cities because he has just like ridiculous combat strength in the defense. And the AI is just insane. It's a problem that we run into a lot. Right, I got my spy. Uh, so I think our main goal now is to steal cash. And it looks like Cairo would be our best bet to steal from, which is kind of unfortunate because that's the city that we're going to try and conquer. I think I'll put my guy into Damietta instead. Uh, and then in terms of like vertically scaling my empire, universities would be nice, but I think I'd like to get the chancery. Plus three influence points per turn. That just gives you a lot of long-term scaling. We have a harbour, we have an industrial zone, we have an aqueduct. The city of Boston is very, very well developed. It could use a builder, I reckon. So a quick builder will crack out. Then, I mean, the main thing my country lacks is culture. So if I were to crack out a mausoleum of Halicarnassus, ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so I've got an idea. Uh, we go mausoleum and then we go theater square in the city and this will significantly alleviate my culture issues. So I think that's what we do. Place the culture. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We don't want a builder. Let's get to work on the mausoleum. Uh, we do need to get some builder charges over to that city. We'll figure that out somehow. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and gain sources in the city of Damascus with my spy. The reason for this is it gives me plus one diplomatic visibility with Arabia. If I go to my diplomatic visibility screen, we have access level limited printing technology. This should kick in. But essentially now, if I hover over these units, you can see um, we are now neutral on... Uh, wait, sorry. Did I click the right button? 
Is gain source? I don't think gain source is the right one. Oops. Yeah. Let me let me abort that mission. Sorry. It's meant to be uh, gather intel. I think I was meant to do a little bit of a mental misclick. We've got the Cerro de Potosi. It's a one tile natural impassable wonder. Appears as a mountain adjacent plots yield plus one production or plus three gold. Very very nice. Very nice little natural wonder. So he does have a lot of melee units himself. Nearly just nearly built districts by me would be nice. Uh, One hundred percent when trading with cultural city-states I think would be nice that's the one that I'll vote for it's the ones that I think are most likely to pass I'm not going to heavily invest in them though cultural passed and I won the culture bombs perfect we can very easily get a kill here yeah we're like super ahead on technology look at that damage very nice uh, let's advance onto the aqueduct let's bring the builder back out let's start bringing the bombard forward a little bit of micromanagement going here but we're going to try to envelop the city uh, with line infantry and then push towards Cairo and pillage all this land. Workshop completed in St. Louis, another line infantry. Um, do I go for the university or do I go for the trade? Well, let me have a look here. There is a city overlap mode. Mm, yeah, we don't have a really good overlap here. I mean, we could get a decent one. Like there's a decent six city entertainment complex right here and we're not too far from picking up natural history. So I don't think we need it immediately. Let's go for the, well, could we, could we justify going for another encampment? I think we could actually, to try to get that great general. This city has completed everything. Do I work on a trebuchet? It'd be good to get another trebuchet and then go ahead and get me another builder. Um, that trebuchet should finish before I have enough nitro to upgrade it into a bombard. So I'll be able to purchase, upgrade this bombard rather than build it. I got my workshop in Baltimore, which is another line infantry. That's great. I could go for another encampment. I know it sounds a bit mental, but I think it's actually the right play to get a couple of encampments so I could... So I always have the option of going to war with great generals. Yeah, sorry, it was listening posts that I needed to do, not gain sources. So a little bit of a uh, misapprehension there. But now you can see I have plus three combat strength from intel on opponent's moves. And that's really important because it means it's plus three... Op in, it's plus three... Um, sorry, let me, let me explain. Uh, the DD AI gets plus four combat strength, okay? Just flat. They, they, they just get that. So if I get plus... Three, I eliminate most of that deity AI combat strength bonus. So we need to use our units pretty effectively here. We can get a big hit here. Let's get a flanking bonus to make this a slightly more efficient hit. Didn't work, that's okay. I've got more line infantry pumping into the gap. And, and now that means I can actually be a little bit sacrificial with my line infantry. I don't have to keep them alive. I have sparesies, you know. I'm going to put this horseman on auto explore. We did find Bandar Brunei, which is a potential target for a double envoy invest, but I probably invest more broadly rather than deeply into uh, city states here. But yeah, Bandar Brunei, getting a point into them would be a relatively a big up for our uh, income. Oh, right, Chicago needs to get its tiles back. All right, so there's humanism. I'm going to quickly pop out urban planning just for a turn or two while I pop in Diplomatic League. There we go. Uh, we'll pop one envoy into both Preslev and Bandar Brunei just because this is efficient. And, uh... Yeah, here we go. So we've got a pretty wide investment in all of these city-states, giving us a decent amount of different yields. You're in an awkward position. I think we'd like to start pillaging for resources now. I'd like to plug in the raid card. It's just kind of hard with my current government. There's like, all of this stuff is like really good and I don't want to take it out. Um, let's go ahead and fortify you. Let's move you here. Let's retreat you, bring you up, bring you up. You retreat to there, you step there. Right, workshop finished, another line infantry. Let's get them moving. Um, let's get to work on the market. Trade routes are gold. Gold is power. So we're up against some Corassiers, which I think are kind of difficult and annoying to deal with, but it shouldn't be impossible for us. We're taking a little bit of damage on this guy, but I can very, very easily get a useful promotion here. I can either go for Commandos, but he's taking a lot of ranged attacks, so I'm going to give him that plus 10 combat strength. Move you up. Blast you. Do I bring the crossbow up? Pike and shot. That's a major victory for us there. Major defeat to attack the city, so we won't. We'll instead keep pillaging. I think it would be good to get an extra ship or two to maybe help with this war effort. So I'm backfilling the top half. Nice. Very, very pushable here. All right, move the line infantry out of the way. Keep pushing up with line infantry. Major victory, and we get to step on his campus potentially. Nope. Lower this guy's health, then blast him with the bombard. Unlucky, you'll have to retreat this guy. So, any niter for sale? Julius Caesar should be willing to sell me a little bit of niter. I need to cancel building of this trebuchet. No, I need to finish the trebuchet. That's what I need to do. So I can do that in two turns. Now, the reason I need to cancel the building of that trebuchet is because if, if I hit 20 niter with that trebuchet in construction, it will get switched to a... Um, it will get switched to a bombard, which I do not want. We almost have a full surround going on the city. I will definitely pillage this for a bit of cash. You guys can go ahead and heal up a little. Keep the line infantry pumping. 
So we're just we're hitting at a really really good timing at our line infantry of plus five combat strength, making them really good. It's kind of alleviating the problem. Uh, of their combat strength. I'm also really glad I didn't go to war with the Kree because Kree has cavalry armies, whereas Arabia is lacking the culture to do that, which is just like perfect for me. Uh, let's do gain sources and then we'll start siphoning funds from Damietta. I'm not selling you my nighter. I really need my nighter. Thank you. All right, we do a little bit of maneuvering here. The trebuchets are complete, which means I can now go ahead. Does anyone want to sell me nighter? I don't need 46 nighter. I need more like 24 nighter. How much for 24 nighter? What if I gave you like... 20 Diplo favor on top. Yeah, that's way more reasonable. Okay, deal. Uh, now we can go ahead bombard and bombard and we'll be able to pressure with these bombards and start actually hitting the city of Halab. You go ahead and finish that builder then I get to work on the barracks. Very, very hopeful. It's, it's kind of wishful thinking that I'll be able to get Napoleon, but we'll see. Then again, my production is kind of insane right now. So you never know. Stranger things have happened. We chop out that university. Get yourself that builder. Boom. Okay, the damage to that bombard was disgusting. So this is going to have to be a bombard combined arms push which means all three bombards are going to have to be pushed into range of the city on the same turn so we can't do it piecemeal i thought i could maybe sneak up i, could, I thought i could like slow roll it up right um which i could not the city is surrounded now so we'll start pushing up towards cairo yeah he got field cannons out okay my sim is starting to come online like my 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 science is really really strong where i struggle is culture but you can kind of win i would argue that culture is stronger than science generally for your empire's development but you can win without culture like you can brute force it with science now there's sumeria is the last guy on the map uh, i'm going to do something a little bit cheeky here um we'll go ahead and declare a friendship with him because he was it was the first turn that we met him uh we can get giovanni de medici and filippo brunelleschi we can use filippo to finish mausoleum instantly actually kind of an interesting use case we completed the chancery in the capital, giving us extra influence. Let's get started on that industrial zone. We're definitely like all in on the giga production now. Regardless of how many extra units we have, though, it's still not an easy push this. I'm getting value from it. The problem is just like, I feel like the DD AI is just like on a slightly too strong of a curve um, for their early game and then slightly too weak of a curve for their late game. So I feel like there was more options to attack them in the early game. It feels, unless you have like an exceptionally strong early game save, it's really hard to actually get in and attack a DD save, at least on standard speed. I think there's more opportunities on like slower game speeds, but yeah, I'd love to go pillage this Mercury. So I'm going to try and force growth in this city by chopping these tiles. The food from chopping the jungles will allow me to force growth. Taj Mahal could be interesting. Just get builders, improve our tiles always. Let's finish the mausoleum instantly uh, because this is basically like a free charge because the mausoleum gives you a engineer charge. So spending an engineer charge to finish it just basically means it's cost neutral. It also means that these tiles become really, really, really nice. I could theoretically rush towards artillery actually here. I think we go for industrialization first though. I would say Chicago is as good a city as any to get the settler out. The city can't really grow anyway. It's kind of hard stuck. So if I get the settler to head over here, I'll be able to claim another chunk of land. We are potentially heading into a golden age. Do I go for the armory? It's the military academy that's a harder sell. I think we need to start doing encampment trainings to try and to try and just get one. Because I think, I think a great general here would make a big difference. Um, you're getting a little bit hurt. Let's retreat you. I'd love to pillage this lumber mill if I could. Let's do double pressure with these bombards because this bombard is going to take a very long time to heal. We may as well pressure and get them all hurt. Um, we will pillage here and we will pillage here. Probably should have the raid card plugged in. It's just my government's really tight right now and I don't have room to fit a uh, card like that in. I don't particularly have another wonder that I want to build. I could go for Ruhr. If it hasn't been built, I'll relocate Filippo over to the capital. In terms of great engineer points, though, I'm making way more points than anyone else on the map. So I should be able to get a majority of great engineers. I kind of wish I would get Leonardo da Vinci. Actually, I need Leonardo. So industrial zone logistics, one industrial zone logistics. You need to do encampment logistics, industrial zone logistics, industrial zone logistics. That's not that many, in all honesty but it might be enough to where I can steal Leonardo because this actually completely solves my culture problem. In fact, this is so important that I have to get him. I just realized how important Leonardo da Vinci is to my entire game plan. So I'm going to be doing Le uh, industrial zone logistics and across my entire empire because if I can get him, that is plus six culture per city, it completely alleviates all of my cultural problems. I didn't realize how good Leonardo da Vinci was, especially if you get mausoleum. So I'm going to be checking this screen every single turn at the start of every turn. There's Pio Pio Tahi. That's another little bit of error score, actually. We're very, very close to a golden age. We can start to chip away at the defenses of the city. We can kill you. You took a nice hefty chunk of damage. We can go ahead and pillage that. Pillage that. There's cash, potentially. 
So I'm starting to move all my trade routes to the coastal city because coastal trade routes are actually just generally better. They're more vulnerable to being attacked, but they are better. It's just the truth of the matter. Is it time for diplomacy? Right, time for a diplomacy turn then. Uh, let's go through and establish resident embassy. Make sure we get mutual open borders with everyone. Diplomacy turns, they're very, very straightforward. Uh, you basically, you seek to get mutual open borders with everyone you can. You sell off any resources you don't need and you like open borders and you uh, look to buy any luxuries you don't have access to be kind of fun if there was like a global market oh yeah he's denouncing me that's fine uh, so let's have a look luxury resources none available any great works of writing actually i kind of would like some of those i'd really like to buy sculptures off congo actually that hurts that save quite a bit um so we'll buy these sculptures i took two sculptures off the congo let me have a look at my great works yeah i'm using up all my slots it's okay tiny bit of culture Trade gold to hurt another sieve. Um, I think she's my number one enemy right now. She's just really, really powerful. So we have the city of Halab under siege, which means it's very hard for him to actually achieve anything in that city. If nothing else, we're achieving that. We're hurting his sieve, which means we're slowly outpacing him, both in culture and science. So we should eventually uh, be able to beat him. It is a total war. Where am I moving Magnus to? Probably this newly settled city that I have planned. For now, though, he can stay in, in situ. Retreat you, step you forward. Major victory on that field cannon. You're my gold-stealing spy. Please steal more gold. So we're kind of stuck at war right now. Now, to be fair, this is kind of like... Free. These are free units, right? They didn't cost me much to make. Okay, we got a unit kill there. Completed industrial zone. I think I'm going to spend the fate to get Leonardo the da Vinci. That's just how important and powerful he is for my build. Um, the fact that I'm going to be able to use him twice, thanks to the mausoleum, and to get plus six culture in every city, that basically completely shores up every weakness my empire has. It's like... It's, it's so difficult to... I'm a very opportunistic Civ 6 player. If I was a proactive Civ 6 player, like I'm a very reactive player. If I was a proactive player, I could probably develop like some incredibly powerful builds that use like the Civs and stuff like that. Like the the fact that you, you know, I just completely forgot that Leonardo the Da Vinci exists in the game because I was so focused on other stuff. But had I remembered, I would have been like, oh shoot, yeah, this actually works really well in my industrial zone build. But I only really noticed it. Like, I, it was something I could have been more working towards, is what I'm trying to say. Is I could have optimized this a bit. So, triggers random Eureka, but more importantly, it gives me plus three culture per city. So, this 74 culture per turn, now when I fin when I when I click this, becomes that's 20 culture per turn. That is like 10 monuments I just got. And I think, honestly, this kind of adds a lot more respect to the campus into industrial zone play that I've done this game. The fact that you can actually get your culture that you need from other sources is kind of an interesting position to be in, especially if you can nail yourself a mausoleum. So we can get our third district in Philadelphia. I think the natural progression would be a commercial hub for our build, um, but there is something to be said to go for uh, an entertainment complex right here in Chicago. So I'm gonna take that tile Slap down an entertainment complex. That's a seven city entertainment complex. Um, thanks to the city overlap t tool. See here, purple, seven cities. So that is potentially, right? Uh, you get two, I think you get two amenities. No, one amenity from the entertainment complex itself. Then it is one, two amenities from the arenas. That's three amenities. Then if we get the zoo, that's another seven amenities. And then finally, if we build the stadium, that's another seven, up to 21 amenities in total if we eventually get the... So, like, really, really just efficient place to start the entertainment complex. I'm really not sure who or what shot my warrior here. Oh, I guess it was this guy. Right, so we just unlocked industrialization. That's a big step forward for us. Go ahead and continue to search. We need to kill some of these. Let's redirect some warriors. I call them warriors when they're line infantry. Um, yep, 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 yep. These units are free, so we don't care if we lose a few of them. We've almost got nationalism. We can start combining units. Should really build more, but there's not much I can do on that front. Uh, entertainment complex is underway. Ruhr Valley has not yet been built. I'd love to get it in my capital. I'm probably going to go workshop, factory coal power plant in that order. Probably buy the coal power plant and then rush the Ruhr using Filippo. Could I get enough money to buy my factory? That's the real question here. The factory is 1300 production. The coal power plant is 1200 production. Let's have a little bit of a look. Can we sell off some Diplo favor? 360 gold from the Marians. 360 gold from Julius Caesar. It's starting to look kind of possible actually here. If we can get enough. 150 gold from Sumeria. 100 gold from you. Damn, we are actually so close to pulling this off. I think it can be done. We have more stuff to sell in a couple of turns. I think we definitely go for banking. It's time to get our gold up. We have a decent number of commercial hubs throughout our empire, so uh, extending them and making use of them even further than our current usage is good. 
Let's go ahead and get our second Leonardo charge, another plus three culture. Boom, up to 115 culture. So we almost like, that's almost like a 60 per, what were we on, 70? Yeah, that's like a 60%, maybe maybe like 50% increase in our culture per turn there. That's genuinely uh, really respectable, like really powerful. Um, not what I was expecting to do this game. There's our first theater square getting us the, so we have a golden age secured. This is actually, uh, this is kind of working out way better than I thought it would. See, I don't like this field cannon here. So I'm going to shoot it. This was a turn that I wanted to push in with my bombard. So I'm going to have to wait a turn. We got the armory in St. Louis. So we can start now on the encampment trainings. In three turns, all of these great generals are going to go. All of them. All the industrial era great generals are going to go because of my timing is just slightly off. Eight production from a coal power plant. I think I'll go for my culture first. Get that culture up. Right, a little bit of a chop here. Get that settler a turn or two faster. Then you'll go ahead and improve that tile. My empire is looking really well simmed now. Yeah, I was expecting to lose that line infantry. Re-friendship with the Cree, and then immediately re-ally with the Cree. See if he'll pay me a bit of cash. He will get a tiny chunk of money with that. Now we can kill this. Easily kill this. Oh, perhaps with a bombard shot. Okay, oh. Bring up reinforcements. Take position. I need this line infantry to get out of my way. It's in the way, dude. Like just hanging around, not achieving anything except blocking my units from doing what they need to do. So he definitely wants peace. He's like screaming for peace, but I'm not interested, dude. The world enters into the industrial era. Plus three era score from circumnavigation. Nice. And we have the bank unlocked. So we have a lot of vertical gold potential. Campus district science adjacency provides bonus production. This feels really strong here. Just a ton of production for whatever I feel like. Can't quite get that kill. Let's promote with crew weapons. Next turn, we can do a bombard pressure. We start to chip away at this city's health. It is starting to lose loyalty. That's actually kind of a big deal. So industrialization is completed. Our production is like insane right now. Let's head towards refining to potentially land on oil. Washington, I can buy the factory. I'm a little bit off. I can get 181 gold from you. I need 30 gold. Someone's going to want to buy my coal. Perfect. So basically one turning. Coal power plant and a factory, oh, tons of line infantry too. Um, and then it's going to be a 14 turn Ruhr Valley. However, we're going to use Filippo to bring that down to a 10 turn and then potentially a six turn Ruhr Valley. This is honestly, this is like a really good tempo. Like our production is insane. Like if I cycle through my city, 64 production, 57 production, 65 production, 37, 55 production, 31, 47. These, produ these production numbers are kind of insane. I kind of have a newfound respect for the industrial zone as a result of this game. And I think a lot of it is also happening as a result of the happiness of my cities. Um, we've been managing to stay on top of our luxury resource purchasing from the AI. And like this war right here, this is just kind of a distraction. Like I'm, this is just kind of me poking and prodding and seeing if I can pull off a war. I'm not particularly invested in the outcome of this war because I'm simming, right? I always have a science victory as a backup plan. I think I'll trade this line infantry out for a field cannon. He'll take a pretty hefty hit, but he might survive. He might not. Remember, I have like a ton of line infantry coming and I'm going to start combining them together. I'm kind of curious. This great general goes, all of them should go. Oh, did I click the button fast enough? Nope. Oh, I did. I did. I managed to click. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know that you could click the recruit great person button during the turn transition and steal a great person. New technology unlocked, boys. Do you know what that has the potential to mean? That is actually insane that that worked. Uh, also, somehow, I still have great general points. Uh, <laughs> uh, did I just discover a new exploit? Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I was overflowing on great general points because the price of great generals came down, so I got to keep the overflow of great general points, I think. I want to do a couple of reloads to see if that actually works the way I think it does. Yeah, okay, so I reloaded the start of this turn. Okay, no, 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 it didn't actually work. I just clicked the recruit button and then ended up with Rani because it like, it, it, it like, it fell to me. Maybe these guys passed it under something or something weird, I don't know. But it, it was my turn to click it. So yeah, we got Rani, that's good. Uh, most importantly, she's an industrial and modern era, so she's going to be relevant for a while. Let's bring her forward. What is her ability again? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. Instantly you create a cavalry with plus one promotion level. Not particularly useful, more useful for her abilities. So I want to wait a turn on the bombard stuff. I am going to want to start producing more bombards, which I guess we'll do right now. Pretty simple. More bombards means I can combine them together, means more combat strength, means more power, means more war victory. Um, so I want you to eat this guy. I want you to eat th this guy. 
I want you to kill him, and then you eat him. You fall back. So, we have nationalism. We can combine units together. Let's go ahead and head towards mobilization so we can combine units together again. You move this way. You move this way. It's all coming together. An incredibly powerful build. Five turns for Ruhr Valley. Very, very fast. We got our settler in Chicago. Um, I think it's time to start vertically going for gold. Uh, well, what if we went for a factory and a coal power plant? No, we need the money. We need the money. We got tons of production. We need money right now. Oh my god, please stop standing on the tiles that I need for my bombards, you jerk. Okay, we'll bring Rani forward. And the usefulness of Rani is we can step and shoot now. Oh, you can't reach from here. My bombards aren't benefiting because they're renaissance. Damn it. Okay, a little bit of a mess up on my part. That's okay. Right, let's get our coal power plants up because we have like disgustingly good coal power plants this game. Play the production game, baby. Nice, we got a successful gold steel. Uh, steel technology as if two levels more advanced. Sure, that seems fine. Arabia is begging for peace, my dude. It will not happen. So we can now build uh, lumber camps on jungle tiles. We'll blast you. I guess Rani can move up this way to help out these line infantry. Could I buy a little bit more niter? I will buy your luxuries, good sir. What I'm looking for is niter. I'd rather pay flat gold. Continue stealing cash using my spies. I need to get another spy. Took a pretty hefty hit in this bombard. That's fine. I'm going to come over to Boston and buy this banana tile because it'll allow me to heal at full uh, pace. You fall back. You're healing. You have a nice shot on you. Slowly chipping away at the city of Halab. Unfortunately, we just didn't have enough of an advantage uh, in either tech or civics to push Arabia. But again, it doesn't cost me to be at war. Like, it, it's free, you know? Let's kill these field cannons and pressure the next one. The first kill in front of Rani. You might not survive the next attack, so I'll follow you back. We finish the workshop in Charleston. Let's get those coal power plants on, baby. I'm relocating all of my trade infrastructure to the coastal city. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I'm getting a whole bunch of new free units here. All sorts of line infantry are going to be pumping out now. Four free melee units is kind of crazy, actually. It means you can industrialize and have a massive army. So how long until mobilization? Two, nine, nine... Eight turns, about 30 turns-ish. And then I'll have line infantry armies storming around the map. It's 1170 AD and I just built the Ruhr Valley. Jesus Christ. There's flight boosted. Also Washington now has 128 production per turn. Coal power plants coming online. That's a 12 production coal power plant, man. Look at that. 12 production. I think most of my cities are going to hit like potentially triple digits production by the end of this game. Let's take Suzuki of Kabul and Preslav. Just because I'm being an opportunist and taking whatever I can get. I'm also going to put a point into Bologna because that's a ton of extra science. And if I put another point into Bologna, boom, we're up to nearly 200 science per turn. Which is not like top of the pops, but we're getting close. Do you know what I mean? Field cannon army is a little bit scary, but I think we can kill it. You promote with tortoise, keep you safe. I don't like that the Cree have units in here. That was kind of the hope thing that I was hoping to avoid is them potentially competing with me for the city's uh, heart and soul. AKA conquering the city. <laughs> okay, at least he's throwing his units at the wrong city. There's civil engineering. Uh huh. Okay. Pull you back to a safe distance. Governor title will promote uh, Reina with tax collector. Got to get that cash flow going. We have a free card, public works. I don't think we really need builders anymore, so we can actually take that card out. What else will we plug in its stead, though? That's the hard question. I guess liberalism is fine, plus eight amenities across my empire. It might push my cities up into a slightly higher tier. Um, I really do need that higher tier, actually. So let's go ahead and go through and do a purchase of all the luxury resources. Because now we're sitting at ecstatic cities across the board. And ecstatic cities across the board is a 20% production boost. Like, this capital city has a 40% boost to its production um, from amenities and from the Ruhr Valley crazy i think yeah i think also i i've definitely come around to the amenity train i used to have no respect for amenities but honestly if you think about the new congo bonus right it's like having level one amenity bonus forever and that's like super powerful and now in my head i'm like that's actually like just getting amenities is so good i think i think i've undervalued amenities i think i've undervalued growth amenities uh for a very very long time in my career playing civ 6 and i just i thought they were terrible but honestly um i'm dumb <laughs> i was wrong i should have been building more amenities oh we managed to snipe albert einstein that's huge and jacob fugger the guys who funniest name in the entire game 
Uh, so Albert Einstein is a big deal. Um, it means research labs will provide plus four science. Uh, that's a huge steal, honestly. So our late game science is secured. If we want to transition to a science victory, we absolutely can. I'd like to kill Arabia. That's kind of a part of my game plan, though. I could definitely see, though, like if I was like one difficulty level down, the timing on these line infantry would be like just absurd. But the problem is just the AI, especially when you play on this map, like the, uh, the AI just has so much tempo. I'm not really sure. I'd like to see, I would really like to see someone who does like, because for a long time I neglected my domination skills on, on deity. So I'd really like to see someone do a domination. I'd, I'd like to observe someone else doing a domination victory and like get one sooner than me with a sieve that doesn't have domination bonuses. Because right, the sieve doesn't really have domination bonuses. Sure, we get the free units, but they come really late. Uh, so I'll move you to here. I will go ahead and eat you with you. I'll position you here so you're safe from city shots. So I've got all the bombards I need for now coming up. How long until mobilization? Well, I can build those for my capitals. You need to get your coal power plant up. All right, so really well positioned settler right here. Uh, let's immediately... Oh, it's actually a new continent. I didn't even realize that. That's so huge. Uh, let's reassign Magnus to the new city of Detroit. And we'll start probably buying builders to send to that city. Oh, it's a four charge builder. Did I take out the builder charge card? I did. A four charge builder is fine though. I'm actually okay with that. So we'll go monument, granary, watermill in that order in the brand new city while we walk over builders. We're gonna need a lot of builders for that city. So I'll pay the cash to drop liberalism for a turn. Honestly, liberalism is too good. I'll drop diplomatic league and then plug in public works. And then we'll crack out some builders from here. Because it, does, it doesn't need the builders immediately, right? So getting a couple of extra builders to walk from a long distance for a bit of extra gold is fine. Okay, 15 turns. The city flips independent. Um, let's go ahead and storm the gates with the bombards. Eat that one. I definitely feel like roads should be better earlier in the game. That feels like a missed opportunity to me. The fact that roads are so bad throughout like the early. Like, it's feckin' the industrial era. And my roads don't give any bonus movement speed. Do you know what I mean? I feel like roads could be slightly better earlier. Just like, just a tiny little bit better. Oh, he got a field cannon into Halab. That's really quite bad for me. 100% production towards encampment buildings would be nice. Okay, so we managed to nail encampment and Confucianism. I'm actually doing really well on the diplomatic victory points. Uh, so we lost a bombard. Uh, but we do have two bombards ready to hammer the city. And it's like, it's starting to happen now. The city is beginning to crumble like Buck Bumble. Where's my knighter? Um, I'll give you... A, ooh, that's a lot of gold. I don't like giving that much GPT. Ooh, I don't need that much knighter. Can you maybe cut that in half? It'll take 400 gold for that deal. That's good enough for me. Uh, we got our coal power plant at St. Louis. We're almost, almost over 100 production in here. The military academy gets us close. Let's get the university and the military academy. Any great people coming that I care about? Not really. We're good. Coal power plants coming at least plus 12 coal power plants across my empire. The exception of places like Cincinnati that doesn't have a city to cooperate with. Uh, let's escape on vehicle. Nice. Pressure this field cannon. Don't let him get a free shot on us. Always be pressuring. ABP. I can see this sieve being horrifying in multiplayer to play against. Because if someone gets a good start and they can sim their way to like a massive uh, thing and then just line infantry push you on a relatively open map, that'd be a nightmare. So we'll take crew weapons on this guy so he can tank another shot for me. And then we'll bombard with this guy and then he will heal so we he can tank. But yeah, I think I'm going to start producing cuirassiers now um, to run them around inside the enemy's back line. Try to get pillages off. There's not much else I can spend my money on, my production on. Ooh, a free warrior kill. I will take that. Any chance for a meme kill? I will take. I definitely noticed that my game like slows down massively, like in terms of how quickly I make it through turns. The second I recruit an army, <laughs> it's like a 100% chance that your game is going to slow to a crawl. All right, we are slowly but surely chipping away. Ada Lovelace. Let's the city build one more district. So what district and where would I make use of her? If I put her into the capital, I could get what? Probably the second half of our entertainment complex is here, which I think is exactly what we're going to do. Ada Lovelace to the capital, boom, slap her down, uh, and then we can go for a pretty quick entertainment complex. Chop it out, believe it or not. One turn chop. God, our production is insane. Our production is insane, dude. I mean, while I'm here, I may as well get pillaging. It was kind of a part of the original plan for the war with Arabia. When you consider the majority of these line infantry were free, um, this has been a really net positive war. Because I'm still like, I've got maxed out amenities in every city, so it's not even like the war weariness is hurting me at all. Uh, we did just unlock oil, and I think it might be one of those unfortunate games where I find literally zero oil inside my territory. I mean, I'm searching. What do I see here? 
There's an island I can settle for oil. Well, you know me. I love me my one and two tile island. So we'll get ourselves a settler to go get that. I guess we're going settling for a bit of oil. Really unfortunate because I really wanted to use artillery. Could potentially go for tanks here. Tanks and artillery feels like the natural progression. So we'll see if we can make that work. Our... God, our production is just gross. I think though I'll call that the end of the episode. Uh, I love you all very much. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.